Hey, it's Nikki Clark, and uh, are you getting married soon? Are you part of the wedding industry? Well, why don't you come inside this amazing open house? It's called Wedding Chic, and it's put together by DT Floral and Decor Inc., 2160 Highway 7. Come on in. Let's take a look. Hey, it's Nikki, and I'm at DT Floral and Decor, Inc. at uh, 2160 Highway 7, and we have an amazing open house, the Wedding Chic. And sitting beside me is the founder, Craig. How you doing, Craig? I'm good, thank you. And how are you, Nikki? Excellent. I'm so happy I'm here. Thank you for the invitation. It's our pleasure to have you here. Awesome. So I'm feeling really warm and fuzzy. I've got this, this regal, blinged out chair in front of an autumn theme background and and how long did it take to put together the the beautiful decor that we're experiencing today the decor uh, took us approximately a week to do the entire warehouse um, normally we have uh, less than six hours to set up an entire room um, but we had the luxury of uh, a week to set up this event today wow that's a lot of work it's a fortune of work this month in november we have over 18 events um, and over six fundraisers that we're donating back to uh, philanthropy. Wow. So you're a company that gives back. And, and l let's talk a little bit about your background leading up to what you're doing today. Everyone has a story. So what's yours, Craig? Um, I came to Toronto as a kosher chef. Um, and I started getting into the decor business because I was uh, short of money. And uh, from there, I stemmed on uh, going into my own career and I've been in my own business for about 15 years. And I boast over 28 awards and I'm pretty proud. Congratulations. I saw some of those awards. Amazing. Thank you so much. I'm very proud to be who I am. And my team, of course, who makes me who I am. Well, you, you know, the someone with the strength of character that you have, um, sometimes we have to go through some obs you know, obstacles uh, to get to our place in the sun. And I know you're originally from South Africa uh, and um, you've had your experiences there. Um, can you tell us about what happened to you that really was a defining moment for you that br brought these incredible changes? Um, in South Africa, I was carjacked, um, hijacked uh, with guns. And uh, that was a turning point in my life. And 19 years ago, I decided to come to Canada. And the day I arrived in Canada, my mom was paralyzed and brain damaged, and it just gave me the strength to go. And um, from there, I built my company and my empire, um, and I'm very proud to be who I am, a leader in the industry. You are. You, you're an amazing person, and, and, and you have a huge heart. You give back to the community. Um, what are some of the organizations that you've been involved with in the past? And I know you've got some uh, coming up this week. Um, the major fundraisers that we've been involved in is uh, Juvenile Diabetes, Sick Kids Foundation, um, Mount Sinai Hospital, um, Zarenu, uh, Reno Foundation, um, Monkey Barn Foundation. Uh, we do all walks of life uh, from small to large and I love to give back to the community. Um, it's my biggest uh, thrill in life to see uh, charities giving back and making money out of what we donate to them. Absolutely. What, um, what has happened in your life? Y you give so much to others, and you know I believe whatever you give, it comes back one way or the other. But um, how has your life been transformed by helping others? Um, six and a half years ago, unfortunately, I had back surgery, and I had major complications. Um, and I've been battling it for six and a half years. I'm finally back. Um, I have a back injury and a brain injury, um, but I still work every single day, and I still, from that... Work with a smile, no matter what. I try to. Uh, some days are more difficult than others, living with pain, and um, I try to give back as much as possible, and I try to help um, people who don't have jobs um, come back into the community and give them jobs and give them an opportunity to... Uh, realize there is opportunity and life uh, out of the uh, homeless world. I love helping people and a lot of uh, people who I work with are have been homeless or have had not uh, haven't had an opportunity. I've helped over about 40 or 50 people find uh, jobs or move on to bigger and better jobs in their life over the 19 years I've been here. So I love giving back. 
awesome. And and they have benefited so much from, you know, your heart of gold. So that's amazing. I want to just uh, say thank you for that. Um, tell me about an event that's coming up this week that you're involved in, the Starlight Soiree. And uh, what what part do you play in there? Um, the Starlight uh, Soiree uh, was called about two weeks ago uh, by Camille. And um, I was fortunate enough and uh, have wonderful people around me who are helping me put on uh, some amazing services, a face reader, Garth, um, George uh, doing the photo booth, um, of course, Nikki Clark coming on t uh, with us. Um, we're giving, f donating furniture, flowers, decor, um, a lot of things we're giving back to the community, to juvenile diabetes, and trying to raise awareness in the community uh, for sad cases of uh, kids who unfortunately suffer every day today. We don't realize it, but it affects every one of us. As the kid, from a kid, they grow up into adults, and then it's uh, stage one or stage two diabetes, and it's a very, very hard thing. We have uh, about three or four cases in my family of sugar diabetes, and it's just creating awareness. Um, w what's your formula for success? I mean, success is different for everybody, but you you've worked hard and you've amassed all of this. How did you do it? What were some of the um, what what are what are some of the qualities to make someone successful? Um, giving value for money, um, giving back to the community is my main thing. Um, giving, uh, sharing a passion, and helping others grow to with you and uh, explore life. It's not only about me; it's about growing with others and uh, taking them under your wings and helping them grow and letting them fly. Mentorship. I love mentoring people and. Um, I just shared it with a friend who was homeless and I gave her an opportunity and uh, then she got to minimum wage and a week ago she just got to $30 an hour. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty amazing from being homeless to $30 an hour. Uh, I was pretty happy to help and mentor her over a year. Craig, you're amazing. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And where can people find you if you just want to take a look in the audience lab? Uh, if you'd like to see our website, it's www.dtfloralanddecor.com, D-T-F-L-O-R-A-L-A-N-D-D-E-C-O-R.com. And thank you, Nikki and team, for coming to see our venue today. It's been a pleasure. We're having a ball. And thank you so much for your hospitality. We'll be back. Oh, and thank you for this bouquet of flowers. It's our pleasure. <laughs> Give me some of my favorite flowers. Pink is my favorite. Hey, it's Nikki, and I have uh, John Joya, a joyful name, um, sitting beside me. And we were going to talk about um, a woman that is in his life, his wife, and she's got uh, something that nobody does in the world. Uh, so can you describe what that is? Thank you, Nikki. Uh, well, I'd be glad to. Uh, so we, we may claim that Olga is the only live performing artist in the world that performs with and in a virtual reality. So it's really something to witness where an artist is using the virtual realm as her canvas and she's using a uh, set of technology tools as her, uh, as her brushes. Uh, so you can actually see her create the art that she's envisioning inside her head and inside this visor, uh, typically on a very large screen behind her. So as she's creating this art, you actually get to see it. Okay. All right. I'm a little slow sometimes. So how does she do it again? So she's using technology and computer okay. equipment, okay. and she uses this uh, really cool gaming system called uh, the HTC Vive. It's out there now, and everybody's using it to do this virtual reality gaming. Right. So we've taken that, and she's using it, and she uses this uh, paint brush application called Tilt Brush. So in her world, she is painting. So typically, you're not able to see that. So we're able to take that and put on a screen wow. behind her. So whether she's in front of it or she is in it, you actually get to see this beautiful world that she's creating. So it's kind of no different than someone standing in front of a canvas using you know, oil or, or acrylic. But virtually. But virtually. And we're able to bring it into the real realm. Fantastic. John, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for sharing this information about virtual painting. You're very kind. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Thanks. We'll be back.
Hey, this is Nikki, and uh, sitting beside me is the owner of Isaac Image. Please welcome George Cash to the show. How are you doing, George? Hi, Nikki. I'm good. Thank you so much. Good, good. So, so tell me about your involvement here with uh, DT Floral and Decor. I'm working on helping me from time to time to create, to get this community together, and sometimes he need help. Uh, it's my exposure as well, of course. I'm uh, running a wedding photography studio. Mostly it's weddings or events, corporate events, but mostly weddings. Yeah, and I am running also the photo booth company. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much, George. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. We'll be back. All right, welcome back. Uh, I'm sitting beside um, uh, and a very talented woman. Um, she is Samantha McDonald and she has a company that uh, I think is just amazing what I've seen, the flexibility in these dancers. Please welcome Samantha McDonald. Hi there, how are you? Excellent. Great. Excellent. Thank you so much uh, for having a moment to sit with us. So tell us a little bit about your background leading up to starting your company. What's your company name? Sure. So the company name is A Square D Squared Aerial Dance Cert Company. And uh, it's actually been started by three sisters. So myself and my two older sisters. And uh, we came back uh, from a dance acrobatics background. Uh, we discovered circus at the age of nine, ten years old. And Did someone take you there and then you're inspired? You know what? Our, our story is fantastic. So we actually went to our neighbor's 50th birthday party that had a rented trapeze flying trapeze we all tried it we loved it fell in love with it and the rest is history that's not a usual 50 year old party it isn't and you know we thank him every day that him and his wife put that on for him um, and it, it definitely uh, got us into the circus world and uh, yeah so we started our company at a very young age and how old were you so myself I was 17 my sister was 20 and my other sister 21 mm -hmm. thanks so much Samantha appreciate it have a great day. Thanks. We'll be back. Hey, it's Nikki, and, and guess what? Uh, here at DT Floral and Decor Inc. is a an amazing man in the community. He is what is known to be a face interpreter. Please welcome Garth Riley to the show. How are you doing, Garth? I am excited to be here. I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Thank awesome. you very much. Awesome. It's a pleasure. Wow. And, and I have to say, you're my first um, face interpreter. Well, you know, everybody's going to have a first, so <laughs> I'll be your first. That'll be great. That'll be great. So what does a face interpreter do? You know what? It's based on a science, based on Chinese Neurovedic medicine. So it, um, uh, it's uh, thousands of years old. And what we do is we observe the face. We can tell about a per person's personality, a lot of the traits of their personalities, expectations, by looking at their face and dividing the face into different segments. And then we're able to uh, tell the story. Where can people find you? You know what? They can just go to uh, faceyourpersonality.ca. Uh, my name is Garth Riley, faceyourpersonality.ca, 289-928-9802. Do you have a website? Yeah, faceyourpersonality.ca and okay. uh, or faceyourpersonality.ca. You know, abs <laughs> or <laughs> or you can just Google me. You know, it's Google Garth Riley. You'll find me everywhere. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Garth Riley here. Until next time. Until next time. We'll Stay tuned. <laughs> We'll be back. Uh, welcome back. Uh, sitting beside me is the uh, gentleman behind the amazing sounds at Wedding Chic, uh, the high energy tunes, Daniel Baggio of Goldline Entertainment. How are you doing, Daniel? Very good. Thank you very much. Excellent. How long have you had your company now? Uh, 10 years now. We started when I was 16 years old. Yeah. So actually 12 years. Yeah. I'm trying to think I'm younger than I am right now. <laughs> 12 years in Windsor, Ontario. Yeah. And, and what got you into it? Uh, my cousin was a DJ and I was in high school and pretty cool. Yeah, I thought, you know, he said, come out with me one night and I did and seemed really cool and hip and a cool thing to tell your friends. And I came to a couple weddings and I did the nightclub scene for a bit, but I always ended up going back to like corporate events and weddings because I just love the uh, the aspect of creating an event yourself. Where can people find you? 
Uh, you can find us on our website, www.goldlinedj.com. As well, we're on uh, Facebook as well. If you just do a quick Google search for Goldline DJ, uh, we're all over the web. Awesome. If you hit the gold mine when you're on Goldline. 24-7. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot. Thank you very Appreciate much. it. Thank we'll you. be back. Now, if you love food like I do, uh, in, it's, it's a wonderful experience when you see um, uh, a beautiful array of colors and then burst of flavor uh, when uh, the fusion of different textures and flavors come together. And the person behind um, that um, beautiful artistry is sitting beside me. His name is Chef Ramana, and uh, he's part of this incredible Wedding Chic event today. So how are you doing today, Chef? Good. How are you doing? Awesome. It's good to see you again. Thank you. Last time we saw each other was at uh, the Fountain Blue, the Char uh, Concept um, Fashion Gala. So that was amazing. And uh, we have you here again putting together some amazing food. So tell us about your involvement with DT Floral and Decor. So a few days ago, prior to this event, uh, DT Floral, they called me and they said, uh, do you want to be part of this event? And uh, personally, I don't know them, but I believe in relationships and friendships. It's cooking is not about just creating dishes, it's creating a dish differently. So it so today's uh, actually a marriage of friendship, me and uh, DT Floral. Uh, we just did whatever we do usually, and we just took uh, bought Tuscany to Toronto, I mean to, con- to his office or to his uh, show. Uh, that's what I believe in. Simple ingredients, don't mess up too much, uh, give a lot of passion and romance. That's it. Any profession you choose, if you are very passionate, you will be the next Bill Gates. That's it. It's very simple. Just be very passionate and give your like total dedication to it. You will make your millions. That's it. Very simple. I believe in that. Nice. So follow your passion and the money will come. Money and romance and you will come. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Chef Ravana. We'll be back.